looking at my demographics for my channel, which is something I should actually pay attention to, not just use for fun, which is what I do a lot of times with it. 98% um, of my viewers are male and 2% are female. With that knowledge, I can assume that I can't make any videos addressed specifically to females, so stuff that interests them like marriage and feminism. I can't make any videos on that subject. Um, if you're gonna see anything on that, probably not, because that might raise the number of females that watch my videos, because speaking about feminism or, and stuff like that. But raising up 2%, that's not a niche audience that I can, you know, make even more interested in and create a new audience on top of my older audience. That's not going to happen. However, a niche audience I do have are 13 through 17 year olds, which is just 10%. That's a perfect niche audience that I can maybe make grow a little bit and... It makes sense since even kids are interested in politics too. And while looking at me, I'm obviously a kid too. I'm around that age demographic, so maybe they can relate to me. And that's why they see my videos. So I can try and make that niche audience grow into a faithful audience and appeal to kids. But it's not going to be that big of a deal. Now, another thing I noticed is that unlike my older demographic back when I made anime videos, I don't have a diverse population of viewers. <laughs> it's people from the UK... Canada and mostly the United States so it's not very varied and number one being United States number two being UK number three being Canada Canada however has an interesting statistics is 100% of my viewers come from 18 to 34 year olds and the United States 43% are 18 to 34 year olds um, and through that I know which is the biggest bulk of my audience. It's people that are in between the age where since they're guys, they probably don't have kids yet. And they're probably just living the earlier part of their adult life yet. So, um, it's not older adults. I'm not getting any baby boomers. Well, I'm getting a little bit of baby boomers about... 18%, but in the United States, but it's not that much, it's not much worth speaking about. So what should I consider my channel, it's a, uh, with this, what do I assume I should do now with my videos, that's the big question, it's a question I think only I can answer, with a little advice from other people, because from what I can tell, no feminist videos. If I have my female audience grow, it's going to not mean much because 2% fuck them. I don't want to offend them or disoffend them, appease to them. It's 2%. I mean, if you're a girl and you watch all my videos and you're a big fan, good for you. Good taste. Or bad taste. Probably bad taste. But that's just the way it works. I can occasionally appease the kids. I'm not going to try doing a reenie where I'm going to base um, one video on the current generation and its fate. I already made a Generation Z video. I can make some more videos like that once in a blue moon. Hopefully a piece of them enough that it goes from a niche audience to a audience of 20%. That's a, I can do a lot with a 20% audience. 
even getting, I mean, close to 20%, 18%, 17% maybe, 19%. I can do something with that. And the rest just comes to understanding guys around that age. Understanding 18 to 34 year olds and what 18 to 34 year olds are into, what political subjects they're into. Obviously, I'm still going to do my absurd, I wouldn't call it technical, abstract politics. That's the best way to describe it. But I can splice in a lot of other videos too. Because when I understand my audience and what they're into, maybe current events, then, cool. I'm not going to speak about Trayvon. I'm not going to speak about Coney 2012. Because that's something a lot of kids reblog off each other. And that's my niche audience. Maybe I can speak about something that interests adults around that time. Bro adults. What interests bro adults? Maybe speaking about Occupy. Maybe speaking about the war. Maybe speaking about the GDP. Probably not going to do a lot about that stuff, but once every like two or three videos, that's good. That's helpful. I can do that. I would love to do that. That'll entertain me. That'll entertain you. I'm not going to go over basic subjects and understanding. That can only help the niche audience. I'm not going to basically go through Roman history. Talk about stuff like that. Since you can learn that in high school. And if you're speaking about stuff you learn in high school. I'm paying too much attention to a niche audience. That, that doesn't work for me. So yeah it's just a lot of stuff I can infer from that. This is another Mr. Maka 7 video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you didn't, you can still suck my dick anyway. <laughs>